what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk you know guys black women on the internet will make you believe and I'm talking about the ones who are very defensive of black male criticisms are the ones that are claiming hate speech against them, they will come out there and say, listen, if black men don't talk shit about us, we won't talk shit about you. We will only talk down on black men who are talking down on black women. This is always a story, okay? However, what I have found is that is not necessarily the case. You can be a black man that is in a photo with a white woman, a non-black woman. And if you are a man who black women feel you're rich, you're influential, or you're good looking, you will automatically start to see negative comments. Okay? Negative comments. Or if you're Devon Franklin, who says nothing negative about black women, who was married to a black woman, and he just posted pictures hanging out with some guys. Well, if your certain sisters, and not all here, but if your certain sisters on Shade Room, you get to get called gay just for hanging out with a group of male friends on your 44th birthday. Now, let me just say this. Devon Franklin is a minister of the gospel. And obviously he has lost his wife in a divorce. H how, how painful must that be? You're a man, you put a lot of effort into being with a woman. You know, we don't get along. You're crying on the internet and you're trying to find uh, a way out. So some people try to go out there and get back in the dating market. I believe the divine Franklin is a preacher, as I said. So he does something that most people would do men in general or women in general, you go around and hanging out with, with friends to make you feel better. Because whenever women get divorced or go through the breakup, they go and hang out with their friends. Girls trips. Nobody will ever call black women gay if they do that. However, I wanna submit proof that Mr. Devon Franklin uh, was called dead and, and slandered basically because of some sisters who felt that well, you know what? You look zesty. So the shade room put up this picture. Looks like Devon Franklin chose a bro's trip to celebrate his 44th birthday on April 13th. Then I want you to look at his photo here. Okay. And then the next page, you see this. Pretty salty says, everybody looks suspect. The other girl says, he's on tippy toes. Okay. Molly Cat, you like boys. We know. The Sherry, that caption sounds sweet as F. Okay. Um, so, you know, and then you see, uh, not the brothers in Christ. He looked like an undercover brother. That last pick is spicy. So you, 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 you see all of these things here. Okay. All of this to come out here and try to say that this man is a homosexual. Now I'm looking at this picture. All right. And that's one of the things that, you know, whenever a black man is trying to be well dressed, well kept amongst other black men who, you know, they're not no gang bangers. They ain't got no jewelry on. They look like regular black male professionals and with the college together. All of them look gay. That's what they're going to say. I'm not talking about all sisters, but that's what they're saying in this picture. Whenever a black man presents himself amongst a group of black men and they just have on regular clothes. Oh, well, they look gay. Why? Well, it's because you don't like them, right? They all got to look suspect. I'm looking at this photo. I don't see, I don't even understand how they even got there. They look like regular dudes that have been, that have been nurtured for years, upper middle class guys that are probably doing something in the industry, pay taxes. Some of these guys are probably millionaires. That's it. Oh, but he's zesty. Why, why is he zesty? Because he ain't got gold teeth? Hmm? Oh, because he not with Megan Good no more. 
he's supposed to sit there and get emasculated by her while she goes on Instagram and, and, and does whatever she wants. He's not supposed to have no standards. So oh, because he divorced her all of a sudden, oh yeah, he's zesty. He gotta be gay, right? So that's how some of the ladies are gonna spin it because he couldn't get along with her and she didn't want to be in a relationship as he wanted. All of a sudden he's seeming like he's trying to be happy again. He, oh, well, he gotta be gay. Why is it that every time a black man is trying to get his life together, not slandering black women, because if he was slandering her, then he'd be gay then. Oh, we already knew you like me anyway. You hate your mama, he'd be a hater. But you know, these women and many of these women got jobs. Oh, he gay, he, he, that's slander. That man has done nothing to these women. And again, I'm talking about the women who are commenting on this particular post. The man has done nothing to you. He was married to a black woman. She never come out and said, you know, this guy beat me or he did this and that to me. She didn't say that. That man was married to a black woman. He was good to a black woman that didn't work out. He has a support system and a group of black male friends. And all of a sudden he's gay. So that's not just so you, let you guys know. If you have a support system of black men around you, how dare you have that? How dare you have black men who care about you? Only black women should have people who care about them. It's, it's not gay at that time, but if you're a black man and God forbid other black men care about you, all of y'all are suspect. What y'all getting together to do? Hmm? You already look, you're smart. So y'all are all, y'all are all sweet. So what is he supposed to do? Is he supposed to be there calling her, blowing up her phone just so she could be in a room with a bunch of y'all and y'all could be roasting him? Girl, listen to this message. Cause that's all that y'all want is to have another black man be miserable. So y'all could talk about him and how much of a, how much of a lame he is for keep calling and crying and stuff. No, listen to this. Some black men actually have a support system around them and people that care about them. So that they, they don't go out there and start doing nothing crazy in the street and hurt, hurting people. You see, he's probably actually a good person and he has good people around him. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out with his life. A wife but see some people don't even think that black men even deserve to have that in their life how dare you deserve to have a woman somebody care about you and your feelings it's absolutely ridiculous it doesn't make any freaking sense and so because of that that man must be sweet and all of the guys around him also must be gay it doesn't make any sense Oh, they're well kept. They're well groomed. Oh, they're they're not sagging or or, or throwing up gang signs. Oh, y'all are y'all are gay. But if you say that about black women that have those trips, then it's it's hate speech. How dare you say it about black women? What if he's really really still hurt and his friends are telling him, "Hey, bro, it's gonna be okay. You know, you got this. Let us take you out, take you out for your birthday because I know you're going through a divorce." Women are not in our community are not used to men having that kind of help. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drug. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out.